Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new piercing reaction video. Oh my gosh. Okay, so today guys, I'm going to be doing one of my favorite kind of topics to do around the piercing spectrum. So one of my favorite things to do is to search for piercings and body modifications that confuse the hell out of me. Ones that make me go, what the hell is that? What, what? Why would you do that? Like, I just love the sort of more confusing and weirder ones. It's something that's more like outside of like the realms of norm, whatever. So today we're going to be searching the web for some weird and unusual piercings and modifications that just make you go, what in the hell is that? But quickly, just before I do start, I actually have a sponsor, girls. Can you imagine? I've got a sponsor. What the hell's going on, girls? So today we are sponsored by Adam and Eve. So Adam and Eve is America's go-to for adult toys. Now, uh, if you are outside of the US, don't worry, they do ship outside as well. So all of their packaging is discreet. They have excellent 24-hour customer service. And something that I do really appreciate is 20% of their profits do go to fight HIV and AIDS around the world. With Valentine's Day, coming up what better way to spice up your lockdown valentine's day so you can go to adamandeve.com and use code roly for 50 percent off one item and free shipping in america and canada so thank you to adam and eve for sponsoring this video but anyway guys let's not beat around the bush and get straight on to these weird <gasps> piercings oh wait what uh, oh oh no i oh that's all oh no i makes me oh no why would you want to make it look like you've got loads of like keloids on your chest this just looks like spots on blackheads like i don't understand why you would put loads of dermals in your face like that to look like you've got blackheads and spots like people do things to avoid this and you're doing it to look like it is oh my god wait Okay, so wait, so I've seen a lot of, I've seen wrist piercings. I've had wrist piercings myself and I would never get it again. But this one, like, it's literally, like, is that underneath the tendon? Like, is that underneath that bit of the, oh my, what? Is that even safe? Like, is that safe to do? Like, what? Maybe it's on top of it, but it looks like it goes underneath it. I'm really confused. Like, if you feel your arm, like, here and you do this, I can't imagine that being okay to pierce. What? Like, when I had my wrist pierced, I had them on the top here, and it was just a bit of skin, just under the skin. But, like, to go under the bit that's, like, the tendony bit, like, can, is that even safe? Oh, my God. Is that a real person? Is that, is this Photoshop? Is this real or is this Photoshop? Live your life, girl. That's... No, that's not all I'm going to say, actually. I'm going to say some more. Like, if you want to do this to your face, whatever, you live your life, girl. But... Can some bio person, biologist person, a body, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really know the insides of people's bodies. Surely cutting off your nose like that, so it is just a hole, isn't that going to really mess up your sinuses and like mess with your sense of smell? And like, wouldn't the sensation of breathing be really strange? And like, are you, you going to get more infections? Like even just look around it, it looks a bit crusty around the outside of it. And like, it looks a bit like dirt i don't is it not the best quality photo so it could just be the quality of the photo making it look slightly different than what it is but like to me this just doesn't look healthy like surely that would mess with your sinus i don't know maybe i'm an idiot i don't know and i don't know this stuff so any like biologist people doubt like please please let me um know what this would actually do to your body but i just can't see this like being very good oh my wait wait what Wait, what? Is that someone's belly button? That's an outie belly. Oh, oh, that does not look healthy, girls. That does not look healthy. Why would you? Can, can, can you pierce an outie belly button? Is that safe? Also, you've got straight bar in it anyway, so that's for stupid anyway that you don't pierce belly buttons with straight bars. Is this an okay thing to do? Uh... <laughs> it, you know, I don't know why I just did the puff sign. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't like, I don't like this. It makes you so uncomfortable. I have seen this photo before. I don't know if it's been on my channel. I have seen this photo before. I just, I, it makes me feel so uncomfortable. There's something about that that makes me feel uncomfortable. It just, it, it's, it, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it, girls. I don't like it. Why? Like, what? Like, if you want to stretch your lip, okay, fine. It's not, again, it's not to my taste, but live your life, girl. As long as you do it safe, I don't care. But like, to have it so you can see in the inside, like, it just, it's, I don't know, it just, it, it just, it, it makes, I don't, I don't like it. I don't, it just makes me, makes me feel uncomfortable. Like it just doesn't, it doesn't feel right. <laughs> so like the thing is as well, like if you just get like a labray piercing, this in the center here, even just lip piercings, like it can rub against your teeth, it can rub against your gums. But like having an entire massive like plug that's like disc there, like not ones that kind of come forward, but this one that actually kind of sits like here. Surely that would like rub against your teeth. The thing is as well, like when you get to certain size, if, as you can see hers, it's kind of like pushing her like lip up. Even though she's, you can see that she's like smiling, it almost looks like she's frowning because it's pushed it up, which has made her lip go like arched. <laughs> 
Why? 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 Why would you do that? that and, uh, sure. We saw armpit piercings actually in the last version of this. And now we've seen like another armpit piercing. Especially like, why would you get it done with a hoop? Like that's just asking to come out. It doesn't look healthy, Gales. I don't know why you would pierce your armpit. Please someone tell me why you would pierce your armpit. And also like we, like we did before, there's like tendons and stuff there. Like the thought of piercing through that makes me like cringe. Like that must hurt so much. It was actually annoying enough when I had my belly button pierced to like shave around my stomach. So then have to sh shave your armpit when you've got that in it. Again, live your life, girl, but that was a choice. Oh, I hate it. I ha Oh no, I hate it. This is something that I will, I will never, ever, ever understand. Even why people like piercers will actually perform this, a subclavicle piercing. So basically this is a piercing that goes underneath your collarbone here, like through, it's hard to tell when I've got a black t-shirt on, but it's like through the bone here and then it goes underneath it and then out the front. Like, wow, what? like I don't, this is, really unsafe like this is really unsafe this is i'm so confused why people can do this you don't like it's 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 just not worth it like the thought of going through this part it just it's i don't i don't get it i will never understand why people get this done and i will never understand why people actually perform it like not not just the people who get it done but like the people who are like yeah i can do it like that's such a huge risk that you're putting your clients under like i'm sure things like this probably aren't legal here i'm not sure because like, there's piercings and modifications here that aren't legal due because they, they, they get considered like more uh mutilation rather than modification and i don't know where this one would fall under because it is quite a dangerous one it's not this isn't like a I'm going to go get my subclavicle beers today. Like, this is, like, a hardcore modification. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, so I want to I want to feel like this is actually just, like, through a slight gap in the top of the tooth rather than a natural um, piercing through the gum because it looks like it's quite low down. So I'm, I'm assuming that this is, like, a hoop that they've just put through, like, a little gap they might have on their tooth. I'm so... The, 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 oh, God, I can't even speak. The thing with me is I'm really funny about teeth. I have, like, a funny thing about teeth. I'm really particular, which is why I hate the fact that my bottom teeth aren't straight. It drives me insane, but braces are so expensive. The thought of that rubbing against my tooth or, like, my gum, like, it just has this like i have like a visceral reaction to it like it just makes me cringe i'm sure most people probably feel the same to be honest oh wait what 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 have you done um, was this meant to be like a corset piercing on your arm that you've now taken out and just put spikes through it i don't know <laughs> what's happening and is it like is it is it the bars like long ways or is it like the two little like dot dot like the two shots or is it like that way down? And again, I would think that it's for a, for a corset piercing, but you've got normal surface bars and there were spikes coming out. So like, is this something you've just tried to? It looks very sore as well. Like, is this something you've tried to live with? I don't know if that's a good idea, Gales. I just can't believe I can still find things that I've never seen before. Like, <laughs> I don't understand. Oh God, where's this? What part of the body is this? So you've got four horseshoe bars in quite shallow. Like, where is that on your body? I feel like this is another armpit because it's like little, you can see little, little tiny hairs. Like, is this an armpit again? Is this another armpit piercing? Armpit, armpit, pierce my armpit. Stop piercing your armpits, guys. That's not a good idea. <laughs> oh, ow. Why is that in? Why have you... Guys, when you have corset piercings, they're not meant to be kept. They're meant to just for photo and then you take it out. You don't keep all the, like... Look how awful that looks. It's so red. No, girls. No, girls. This is not a good idea. This is like asking for an infection. Like, look how awful that looks. The reason they're done in the way they are to be for a photo is because they're not something you could live with. And this is a result of not, like, you can't live with this. Especially, like, sleeping. Like, imagine if you roll on something in your sleep. Like, that would be painful. Like, why have you kept that in? Like, why have you kept that in? Take it out, girl. Oh, my God. Why? <laughs> What? Can you look at that nibble piercing? It's, it's, so it says September 23rd, 2001, and then September 22nd, 2005. Why have you... Why did you leave it in until it was like that? I'm hanging on, Gales. I'm oh my god, Gales. I'm gonna come get... I'm, oh god, I'm gonna come. It's disgusting. So I'm actually gonna do a video because my left nipple piercing is no longer in, and it's kind of, kind of like this, just not for this amount of time. Guys, if your piercing is rejecting, please take it out. Oh my, oh, I thought that, I th okay, I thought this was something else. This is another belly button as well. So there's another belly button that's been pierced. So this is an outie as well. I didn't think you could do that. That's really, I mean, I've never seen it before. I'm in, I'm really, I'm really, really interested to know, like, is this a thing that you should be doing? Like, I feel like it's not. I don't know what's inside the belly button, like, bit that sticks out. A deep chest piercing. That looks 
so painful. Wow. Like, ow. Ow, girls. What's that for? I'm really interested to know like, what this would be for. Is this just because you were like, I just felt like it. Or like, is it for something? Was it for like an event? Like, were you doing like some suspension or something? Like, I'm really interested to know, like, is this something that you just live with? Or is it something that you've just decided you want to do? But each to their own, I guess. Wait, what's this? Ew, I mean, this isn't a piercing, but it's still like, I don't sound right. Why would you tattoo your tongue like that? Like, it just, it, again, like, live your laugh, girl. But like, it just, to me, it just looks gross. Like, why would, why, I don't get why you'd want your tongue to look like you've got mold all over your tongue. <laughs> wait, what's, the, so, wait, so this person's got two piercings on the side of the, wait, so it's like, it's, oh my God. So wait, it's like vertical, like here, like, on the side, like. So it's not like a snake eye piercing, which is like from left to right. This is like top to bottom, but on the side, there's like side surface piercings on the tongue. I've never seen someone with that before. Like any, like any piercing on your tongue, getting them around the edge is never a good idea because you're just asking for your teeth to be chipped away. Like you cannot have a piercing here, here, uh, without biting on it. Like you will bite that. And it's going to affect the way you talk. And that's not good. That's going to, you're going to either rip that out. It might even grow out on its own just because of where it is. And it's constantly moving. But like, you're going to mess up your teeth with that. Like, it's just not worth it. What? I've never seen someone with a double belly button. Not only am I like shooketh because I was got a double belly button, but they've also pierced it, which is even more shooketh enabling. Like what? I have a feeling like this might be Photoshop. Like, is it real? Is this real? This could, and the, the caption just said, this could well go down as the wildest piercing of the year. Second navel, rad AF. Is it real though? Is that real? If that's real, then wow. Like I, did, wh I didn't even know you could act like, I've never ever in my life heard of anyone with two belly buttons. Well guys, I'm more on the confused train today, but we're definitely going to be boarding the trailer train as well. Choo choo. We are speeding down that railway. We're about to crash off a cliff and plunge to our death scale. Babish. If you are still watching the video now, comment down below, choo choo bitch, so I know girls. Please, please, please hit the like button because it does really, really help me out and share with all your friends. All my social media links are down below, so come and follow me on them. And don't forget, if you are new, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. Once again, thank you, thank you so much for Adam and Eve for sponsoring this video. I don't normally get sponsored that often, so I appreciate the support. So thank you, thank you to you guys. And again, code Roly, if you want to go and get something, get 50% off. Of course, a massive shout out to my gorgeous Patreons, whose names you can see on the screen here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being a Patreon. You guys are incredible. Um, thank you for all the love and support you give me. It really does help me out. Um, and an extra special shout out to my top tier Patreons. Ali Riguez, Elisa Marie, Austin Fielden, Booster Shot 93, Brenna, Cassie Hilt, Catbird Human, Chill Herman, Christopher John, Robbie, Corin Pemberton, Dimitri Seto, Heather Marie, Hero of the Sprites, James Burgess, Joyner Price, Caitlin Wright, Katsugi Bukago, Kat L, Kelly Bowser, Kelly P, Chloe Louise, Megan Holly, Magusta La Goose, Morgany Wolf, Samuel Patterson, Steffi Tech, Suzmak, and Von Mealy. Thank you for being all Patreon. There is a link down below as well to come a Patreon, maybe support the channel out. Um, so thank you, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for all that. Um, there's some videos here. Go click on them. Go watch some more. Anyway, guys, be fabulous, be amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be. And don't let any bitch ever tell you that you can't be you. Why is that? Because you are for lawless girls.